Already getting after it. Huh? You gotta give the internet what they want. The internet wants cats. And what we got here is painter's tape around this because our cats like to knock this thing over because apparently that's not enough food. I don't know if you want to come with us. Are we all packed, ready to go? Yes, sir. Do you need energy on? No. Where are we going? We are going to Beaver Island. It is the largest island in Lake Michigan. It's in the northern parts. It's about gonna be about a day sail. So yeah, we're really excited. We're going down to the marina right now. My dad's got his boat down there that we're gonna be taking up. Wind's looking okay right now. I was hoping there's gonna be some sun out, but. There's no sun. <laughs> Your boy again. See you in a week. Yeah. One of the hardest things about being a mariner is docking. <laughs> Out. It's a little little chilly. Uh, winds are at like they're bouncing between like five to eight knots. So we have full sail up. We're just trying to make it basically to the other side of the lake because uh, the wind's going to kind of shift and maybe be in our favor. But it looks like really light, so we are motor sailing right now at about four knots. Anyways, you know, not too shabby. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> there you go. I'll tuck you back in. Alright, so this is the captain of the ship. My dad. <laughs> so what's going on here? Uh, well, uh, we're on a port tack. Uh, kind of almost close hauled or uh, close reach. We're going to probably make it uh, somewhere around Bunnington and then head north to Beaver Island.
about 8 o'clock right now. We are mostly motoring at this point. Pretty cool sunset behind me. It was gloomy out for most of the day, but I'm hoping that the skies clear up because I wanted to see some stars out here. We kind of changed our course a little bit because the wind's just really dead to go further north. So we'll see what happens. It's also a little chilly out, but it's Lake Michigan, so what do you expect? Other than that, we're just, we're doing really good. Yeah, so we got Steve here. He's, we've never flown this sail, uh, so we think it's a light wind sail. We think that we're gonna have some light winds that might be favorable to fly in after midnight. Uh, Steve's gonna set it now, he's sitting with the board. right now um, about a half hour 45 minutes ago the winds changed we're kind of coming way off the beam my dad and I we hoisted up asymmetrical Jenniker we believed he had never actually put it up before everyone was in bed and I was like yeah I'm just gonna pull this thing out it was uh, working okay but just really the wind was really light it wasn't uh, it was flapping around a lot and then the boat ended up kind of turning and then the sail got pulled to the other side and so of course everyone had to get up, and that was a total fail. Pretty tired right now, uh, but it's really nice outside. It's dark, uh, it is overcast, so not a lot of stars. But other than that, I'm sitting really comfortably. Uh, we're going about five knots or so. Nice little motor sail. Well, good morning. It's about 5.30 in the morning. Uh, it's starting to get light out now. We are just seeing the South Manitou Island and we're looking at some rain here. So right now we're just kind of getting prepared. It's drizzling out a little right now. Really no wind, three knots of wind, so we're motoring, but we're just kind of ready just in case anything kind of pops up and uh, starts blowing. I don't know. So lots of rain and motoring this morning. Um, my dad came up, I was able to go down and uh, get about an hour or two of sleep. We're just passing the North Manitou Island, but just been drizzling all morning. Uh, no wind, it's not too bad out. I mean, it's kind of cool with the rain and it's just really glass, but uh, yeah, I wish there was a little wind to help us, but, and, but we're still looking good to make it to Beaver Island mid-afternoon. Pretty excited. I thought this bimini would be a little more waterproof, but <laughs> I'm still getting soaked. Pro 
tip. Stay up all night. Bang! <laughs> this is intense. Got you now. <laughs> Coming in hot. Twenty-seven hours later, we made it. Woo! morning everyone. Uh, yesterday we made it in. It was about 27 hours total from Sheboygan to here. Had an early night last night. I was a little tired but uh, it is absolutely gorgeous here. I mean I cannot believe how beautiful it is and even the water how clear it is in the marina. Usually marinas are pretty mucky but even here it's just like crystal clear water it's it's amazing so pretty excited to hop into town and kind of check things out around here where are we at dad now oh, we're at the shamrock on beaver island <laughs> where are we going uh we're going for a bike ride so we just ate at shamrock's amazing 
so if you ever make your way to Beaver Island, go there. Although I don't know how many places there are to eat around <laughs> here, but we'll find out. We're gonna go for a bike ride and see if we can, I don't know, just explore. Yeah, I think you got a friend who's following you. Hey there, Mr. Ducky. Hi. Hey there, pup. Hey there, puppers. The animal whisperer. So we just ran into a local and we're just riding our bikes down this road along the coast. Said so that the road was closed, but you can still go down there. Watch out for the water snakes. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I wasn't really thinking about snakes. So here's where that road used to be. Do you want to ride through it? Are you afraid of the snakes? I guess not. Watch out, there's a snake! <laughs> I got a little scared. I saw something moving through the brush. There's just some ducks. Mama duck, couple baby ducks. Watch out for the water snakes. Are we calling this a dead end? Uh, yeah. Just a little mucky. Pretty cool. What do you think it's for? I don't know. Now that there's a light bulb in it. Oh, it's a light bulb. I actually thought it was like a little flame in there. Interesting. Yeah, there we go. The official Beaver Island flag. <laughs> Good call. There it is. Yeah. Beautiful. We're here, we're gonna check out this marine museum. So this maritime museum here on the island is pretty cool. It just is really showing how important fishing was for this community and over the years how it evolved and was just basically what they thrived off of. And just seeing all these old uh, fishing nets and boats and things that they use, it just is absolutely fascinating. South on Kings Highway toward Beaver Harbor Drive. So we are on our way to Boyle's Beach. The reason we are going there right now is because it's my dad and I's last name. And with what sounds like from the locals a very strong presence of our last name, we decided we have to go to our beach. Do we have rights to this beach? This is my beach. All right, we made it to Boyle's Beach and it is absolutely gorgeous.
Molly, where are we going? Sunset! That's all you have to say? Yep. <laughs> At the lodge. <laughs> what kind of food? Hey, I heard there's some French cuisine yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Little vino. Yeah. So this is a great time on New Island. I keep trying to record, like right now. <laughs> and yeah, and I ran to a bush already. <laughs> <laughs> And I almost just crashed there, so I should probably stop recording on my bike, but I probably won't. You got the bill? Yeah, we're gonna go big. <laughs> <laughs> I want you all to know <laughs> that Steve ran into this bush right here <laughs> and then fell to the ground on his bike. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> he goes, oh, nobody saw it. It was so funny. <laughs> you fell off your bike. You totally crashed into that part. <laughs> I'm here at the Little Sand Bay Nature Preserve. Another beautiful morning here on Beaver Island. Everyone else was sleeping in, so I decided to go on a bike ride and uh, check this out. It just amazes me how quiet it is here. Just getting away from the hustle and bustle of life and being able to see this. I don't even know why I'm whispering right now. for words just to be able to experience this and the pristine nature and just remote I mean it's not you know you go to a lot of places where there's a whole bunch of people on the trails and it's just there's there's no one else here it's amazing Another beautiful morning here on Beaver Island. What are we trying to find right now? Mount Piscay, Pisca? Pisca? Yeah, something like that. We have a little trouble due to the low cellular reception, but we'll find it. All right, we found it. Good job on the GPS. Yeah, you doubted me. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of sand in my shoes after this climb. What was that? <laughs> I'm out of shape. <laughs> We're almost there. So we just made it to the top of this point. I thought this was it. But I'm seeing something over there. Give me a hat. <laughs> I'll give you a second. You want to do it? Yeah. Okay. I 
I think this is the last hill. How you doing? Um, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we made it. <laughs> oh wait, there's another hill. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm tired. Me too. <laughs> but I kind of want to launch the drone. I'm going to do it. Another beautiful day here, our last day on Beaver Island. We are just hanging out at the beach, just went swimming. And I would say that to anyone who's thinking about coming here should. It is absolutely gorgeous. Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful morning here. We are just leaving St. James Harbor here at Beaver Island and heading to South Manitou. Uh, looks like it's gonna be, depending on wind and how much we motor, we're looking about uh, eight-ish hours and we're gonna do overnight anchors there before crossing the lake and heading back to Sheboygan. Things are looking pretty favorable today and just gonna kick back and take it easy. It's gonna be really nice out and a little warm. sunrise huh yeah it's pretty so we noticed this morning our autopilot is actually not working uh, we've been trying to track down the issue there was a faulty switch on the panel which could have been depressed was allowing not allowing the ray marine sea talk system to work uh, we've been following wires but uh, we just really can't figure out what's going on. We even did a full recalibration of the autopilot system, but uh, it's had issues in the past. Well, right now we're just gonna have to do it the old fashioned way and just steer by hand uh, when the compass bearing. So we're just heading close to shore right now. Uh, we're just getting the anchor ready here and gonna be dropping the hook shortly.
How many jumps do you think I can do with this? Two. Two? With this rock? Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Two! Oh. <laughs> I win! Oh. <laughs> after five this morning. We just pulled the anchor at South Manitou Island. Headed back across the lake to Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Uh, it's gonna be kind of a long leg, but hopefully we'll get there around nine o'clock tonight. So we're headed back right now, and the back race is going on, and uh, it's pretty neat. We're just going through a field of sailboats right now. Uh, they're not moving very fast. We only have a knot or two of wind right now, but I would say, how many would you say we've seen already? 75. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, I kind of feel I kind of feel like a cheater using the uh, diesel through this right now, but we're a cruiser. Yep.